What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be hypothetically talking about face value for larger denomination silver bars. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new prepping video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with the limited edition only available until Christmas, DYDSS Christmas line, all red everything, and the products are being sold to help raise funds for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today... I wanted to talk about something in response to a comment that I had received exactly 16 hours ago on the video that I posted just yesterday. The question is coming from Chris, and it's asking, if silver and gold bars of all ounces were turned into money, what do you think the denomination would be in terms of U.S. dollars? Now, first and foremost, Chris, thank you so much for asking the question. I look forward to having some fun and answering the question throughout the course of the video. If you or anybody else watching right now have some questions for me, whether they're hypothetical like this one, or maybe you're a brand new stacker and you want to know some facts and information, maybe you're a long time stacker and you just want to know my opinion on something, head on down to the comments and ask away. I'd be more than happy to dedicate an entire video to you and answering your question. But now moving forward, I think I'm going to somewhat disregard gold even though it's part of the question and the reason for that is because gold coins it's pretty easy to calculate and the reason I say that is because an ounce of gold or a one ounce gold coin typically fifty dollars face value and simple math if you break it down one tenth of an ounce gold coins typically five dollars face value a half ounce typically twenty five dollars face value so I think that's a little bit easy in terms of switching over from coins to bars if that makes sense I think a one ounce gold bar if it were turned into a coin fifty dollars I think it would be the same a two ouncer I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that that would be one hundred dollars face value so I think gold is a little bit simple, and most of the pieces of gold that I'm familiar with are, in fact, government-minted coins. Silver, on the other hand, I have a mix between silver coins, rounds, and bars, mostly coins, and one-ounce pieces of silver. It kind of varies depending on country to country. For example, here in the U.S., our one ounce silver coins, one dollar face value, the American Silver Eagle. However, if you were to go over to Canada and pick up their one ounce silver coin, five dollars face value. And I'm going to just stick with the U.S. Mint for today's video. And also, just in case anybody didn't realize, this is purely hypothetical. I'm not here making any statements. I'm not here just saying random things. I'm just, it's a hypothetical question. So here's my hypothetical answer. I think because of the fact that here in the U.S., our one ounce silver coins are $1 face value, I think larger denomination bars, I think it's just going to go by $1 per ounce. I think that's just kind of what makes sense to me. I think that it's pretty simple. I think it's a pretty logical explanation behind my answer. For example, my five ounce silver sunshine bars, if those were somehow coins, I'd be willing to bet that they'd be $5 face value. My 10 ounce silver sunshine bars, if they were somehow turned into coins, $10 face value. Now, something that I do want to talk about while we're on the subject of face value, something that I have been thinking about for a while now is that I don't want to say that I require my pieces of silver to have face value, 
but I really, really prefer them to, and here's why. If a piece of silver has face value, it's a coin. There's no debating that. There's no arguing that. If it has face value, it was minted by a sovereign government, and it's money. Now, you could argue that even generic silver is money because silver is money at the end of the day, but I'm talking about something with face value, something that is seen as money to everyone as opposed to just stackers who understand that silver is money, but I'm talking about the people who have nothing to do with precious metals, the people who just see it and be like, oh, okay, I guess it's money since it has face value. I don't want to say that I require my silver to have face value, but I prefer that it does. And the reason for that is because with face value comes a higher level of notoriety, more respect, more trust, and it would be more desired. And the reason I say that is because, well, it's for a variety of different reasons. Now, do I really believe in face value? Absolutely not. I think it's kind of ridiculous that it has face value such that that's so minuscule in comparison to how much it's actually worth. And not just silver, by the way. Silver, yeah, it has $1 face value, but in order to get it, you need to fork over about $17 or $18 because that's what the spot price is right now, $17 and change plus a little bit of a premium. You're looking at 17 18 maybe $19 per ounce of silver right now. And gold is really no different. A one-ounce gold coin, $50 face value. Somebody who has nothing to do with precious metals, somebody who's clueless or ignorant to precious metals, might assume that it would only take about 50 bucks to get your hands on one. Little do they know that you'd need about to get that little piece of gold that says $50 on it. So I think it's strange. I think it's weird. I don't think the numbers really add up. But I do prefer my precious metal to be coins. I don't stack really any rounds anymore. I stack very, very, very few bars But the silver and the gold that I convert my dollars into, I go for coins. Just because coins typically have security features or anti-counterfeit technology, and they're just more recognizable. You stand a better chance if you needed to or wanted to sell a portion of your stack. You're going to stand a better chance if somebody knows exactly what it is. I mean, the average stacker knows exactly what the Canadian Maple Leaf is. They know what the American Eagle is. They know what the Libertad or the Panda or the Kangaroo are. They know exactly what those coins are and where they come from. If I just had some, a poured silver bar that I poured myself, it's just some random piece of silver that has nothing on it, or maybe I just put my name in it or something like that, stamp my name or or something, my logo, somebody could argue that they have no idea what that is. They could say, yeah, it's silver in color, but how do I know it's actually silver? Sure, you can test it. Sure, you can prove it. But I don't know, the hassle factor, I guess. I guess I would just rather have something that already has a higher level of notoriety, trust, and respect, and something that is probably going to be desired. I'm willing to bet that the average person out there would much rather trade $20 for an American Silver Eagle than $20 for a silver DYDSS one-ounce poured round. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think about face value. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Talk about all things money. It's not just about silver. It's not just about gold. Sometimes we'll talk about industries where a lot of cash is being made. Sometimes we'll talk about sports betting. And sometimes we'll even talk about some prepping gear. 
Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs. And of course, the limited edition only available until Christmas, DYDSS Christmas line, all red, everything, and the products are being sold to help raise funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on face value? What do you think that a 10-ounce silver bar, if it were a 10-ounce silver bar-shaped coin, what do you think the face value would be? And also, do you prefer coins over rounds and bars, or are you the type of person who prefers rounds and bars because it has a slightly lower premium? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.